The world's largest construction machinery trade fair has been held in Munich since 1954. Although its first home was on the Theresienwiese visa in the heart of the city, many years ago the fair was relocated to the exhibition grounds in Munich Ream. Liebherr has been a permanent fixture among its exhibitors for many decades. And in 2022, we're back at Bauma at the Munich Exhibition Center, and for the first time in October. Whenever innovations and revolutions are unveiled for the first time, we naturally have to be there. And with that in mind, welcome to the first edition of our Upload Video Magazine in 2023. Innovation is the operative word here, at the heart of the industry, the largest construction machinery trade fair in the world. And we're already looking at the first innovation, the LTM 1100-5.3, which we're showcasing here in Munich as the master of all roads. Julian, what's the deal with the master of all roads? Yes, Martin, as you said yourself, it has the ability to master all roads worldwide. By this, we mean it beats all the regulations as far as weight is concerned. In short, it's about the axle loads. We designed the crane with a lightweight construction so that it has as much counterweight as possible on board with a 12-ton axle load on the road. At the same time, however, we've also made sure the crane can achieve low axle loads by simply removing the counterweight, for example, to 9 tons per axle. And thus the crane can be used very flexibly worldwide. Because often during daily use of the crane, it is necessary to reduce the axle loads because it needs to drive over a bridge, for example. And you can really reduce the axle loads and the maximum load capacity by a lot. For example, with a 12-ton axle load, as I said, it has the 16.9 tons of counterweight, which, by the way, is three quarters of its maximum counterweight of 22.5 tons. And with a 9-ton axle load for a total weight of 44 tons, it still has 0.8 tons of counterweight on board. This really is a record for this new crane. I see, so the crane can then easily travel any road in the world. What about economic efficiency? Well, if you're referring to economic efficiency, the 16.9 tons is a decisive factor once again, because it's actually very suitable as a taxi crane and, as I said, already has three quarters of its counterweight on board. In other words, most of the time, there is no need for additional transport at all. So you save on a truck, but if you do need the counterweight, you can, of course, carry it with you. So it's very flexible. I should mention one more thing. What also helps is the vehicle width of this crane. This is very noticeable when you see the crane from the front. It has a width of 2.55 meters as a five-axle crane, another world record. Okay, so you mean the 2.55 meters at the front here. Visually, it looks like the twin brother of the LTM 1110-5.2. But how does it differ under the hood? That's right, Martin. In terms of the visuals, you of course mean the overall design. It's the second crane of our new Lecon 3 control system generation. That's why it also looks relatively similar in terms of design. It has the new driver's cab, but there are also some differences. The new crane has a 62-meter boom. That's two meters more than the LTM 1110-5.2, which has a 60-meter boom. Then there's also the fact that our new crane is designed for high radii, whereas the LTM 1110 still has its part to play due to its excellent performance on steep inclines. But of course, a lot of things are identical here. We have new touch displays, everything is digital, a new data bus, fleet management and LEDs everywhere. Very important for our customers. Great, thank you, Julie. We've now learned quite a lot about the master of all roads, and all that remains for me to say is that it's available now. And right next to it is our monster on eight axles, the LTM 1650-8.1, which first saw the light of day, as it were, at the last Bauma here in Munich in 2019. Since then, it's found its way onto numerous construction sites around the world. And now, we're going to hook up with this beast in Spain. Along with a large number of other Liebherr cranes, the LTM 1650-8.1 completed a very special job on behalf of Gruas Ibarondo in northern Spain. 
As a result of increasing traffic levels due to the expansion of the port of Bilbao, the regional Basque government commissioned a new relief road as part of its Variant Sua Metropolitana de Bilbao project. The new super sewer crosses a geographically highly complex area in which the Balincho Valley, a protected nature reserve, is located. As one of Bilbao's last natural oases, this area has a high ecological value and is a habitat for many of the area's indigenous animal species. The protection of the native wildlife was of paramount importance when creating the road link. Therefore, the plan was to develop an architectural design which did not require any scaffold or support columns from the valley floor. The decision was made to use a design supported only by parapets on both sides, two viaducts, each measuring around 160 meters in length, which together span the valley and support the two-lane road for the Super Sur. The only access route to the site was through the two tunnels. The space between the tunnel openings and the bridge parapets was also extremely limited and was located on a steep slope. For the construction of the viaducts, the half arches of the two bridges first had to be assembled vertically from individual segments with the help of a crane before being lowered slowly over the Balincho Valley simultaneously with winches and connected in the middle. To achieve this, the crane had to access the site by driving through the tunnels to the banks, which had been excavated in the mountain, none of which posed a problem for Grua Sibarondo's powerful LTM 1650-8.1, thanks to the Vario base and Vario ballast, as well as its load-bearing capacities and boom length, the 700-ton crane was able to perform impressively and be adapted to the limited available space. To construct the roadway, the LTM 1650-8.1 placed the substructure for the future road in sections on the lowered and connected arch elements. Positioned on the abutments, the eight-axle crane hoisted the heavy steel segments for the road surface onto the viaducts. At the beginning, the crane was equipped in the T3Y configuration for the nearest segments. In the course of the construction work, the crane was converted to T5Y in order to reach the segments in the middle of the viaduct. New cranes, new solutions. Ideally, all connected to each other. At Bauma, we're presenting our new telemetry solution for mobile cranes for the first time. Wolfgang, what's this all about? Well, it's actually quite simple. You might have already used it in your own car. Via an app, I can control certain parts of my car. For example, I can enter an address into the navigation system remotely before I even enter the vehicle. But I can also view certain information about the vehicle, for example, the fuel consumption or the tire pressure. While this quickly becomes something of a gimmick for a car, it's very useful for a mobile crane. It means I can just see at a glance whether the crane can manage another lift today. Is the crane currently in eco mode or eco drive? And I can then react accordingly. In other words, these are things that at the end of the day mean a significant increase in efficiency and which of course also save money for the crane operator. But it's not only the crane operator who ultimately benefits from this solution, but also the crane planner, the workshop manager and the crane driver. So that means I have more transparency in the business, more ability to plan and perhaps also easier accounting. That's exactly the point. So, for example, we can define areas with this solution, for example, construction sites. And whenever the crane enters this site, all data is automatically attributed to this site. In the analysis phase, I can then evaluate and determine how many operating hours the crane has worked on this construction site during a certain period, how much diesel it has consumed or how much CO2 it has emitted. And I can automatically generate a wonderful report within a few seconds, which can be used for billing on the one hand, but of course also for authorities who simply want proof of certain things like CO2 consumption. Another great aspect is that this system is not only available for new cranes, we'll also offer retrofit kits in the future. In other words, I can retrofit my cranes with this solution up to a certain age. That's brilliant! What does the crane need and what does the crane operator need to make it work? First of all, of course, the crane needs a modem to send data to my Liebherr and thus to the customer. In other words, in future all our cranes will have a modem fitted as standard when they leave the factory. This modem also comes with a SIM card and a data plan. 
This is more good news and a unique selling point for Liebherr. Our customers will never receive a bill from the mobile network operator. We will cover all these costs regardless of whether the crane is located in Germany or abroad. As the crane operator, you also need access to My Liebherr. Of course, you should already have this, so you can use the crane finder and the crane planner to plan the lift in the first place. And on My Liebherr, you can also see all the telemetry information. And the third and last thing you need is a free license. You can acquire this very easily, as I said, free of charge, in our license shop. Simply accept the license conditions and that's it. You can't make it any easier for the customer. A really great solution. Thank you, Wolfgang, for your explanation. Don't mention it. And if you don't yet have a MyLeapHair account or need help with MyLeapHair services, our service partner will, of course, be happy to help you at any time. Ninety meters of boom can be carried along with a 12-ton axle load, a world record for telescopic all-terrain cranes. Introduced in 2021, the LTM 1300-6.3 is now being delivered and is in service worldwide. Let's take a closer look by heading off to Switzerland. Recently, the first LTM 1300-6.3 reached its owner, Feldmann Pneukran and Transport AG, based in Bilton, east of Lake Zurich. The company, a long-standing Liebherr partner, immediately put its new world record holder to the test. Right at the top of the immaculate 300-ton mobile crane's to-do list were two disassembly jobs involving construction cranes. The new arrival completed both jobs perfectly and to everyone's satisfaction. The chassis is very stable even if the crane comes to a bit of a stop. You don't notice anything at all. The chassis is sensational. Patrick Geyer operated the LTM 1300-6.3 on both sites. This impressive combination of man and machine made its debut in Regensdorf near Zurich. An enormous top slewing crane with components with a gross weight of up to 12.6 tons and a radius of almost 40 meters had to be dismantled. But there was no setup area for the mobile crane anywhere close to the construction crane on the massive site. For this dismantling job, 70 meters out of the total of 90 meters of telescope length were used. The Lickon control system calculated the perfect configuration of the individual telescope sections for the load. When designing the LTM 1300-6.3, the focus was not only on the length of the boom. The clever overall design of this machine, which only requires two additional transport vehicles for the counterweight, makes this 300-tonner a genuine fast-erecting crane. The 90-meter boom it carries is ideal for erecting construction cranes and working on tall buildings or plants. And just like its first assignment in cramped conditions, the manually adjustable Vario ballast offers a radius of less than 5 meters in the minimum position. An immense advantage for slewing when space is at a premium and unique for cranes in this load class. The VarioBase Plus trapezoidal support system, as well as the wind speed load charts with the load tables adapted to high wind speeds, are additional key technologies that we've packed into the new mobile crane. In any event, Feldmann's innovative and compact powerhouse completed the two jobs on the banks of Lake Zurich with consummate ease. Patrick Geyer summed it up perfectly afterwards. Driving on the road is sensational. The crane control is extremely good. You can drive very precisely with a crane, even with a long boom. I'm very pleasantly surprised by the overall control of the crane and the handling and speed that it offers. And now we come to the last highlight of today's special edition, a new model for tough assignments, the toughest in the roughest. A new rough terrain crane that significantly expands our range of RT cranes, the LRT 1130-2.1. Julia, what's the idea behind this crane for rough conditions? It's actually pretty simple. The concept behind the new LRT 1130-2.1 is maximum performance with economical mobility worldwide. 
The new 130-ton crane is the most powerful RT crane in the two-axle class and at the same time also has the next boom at 60 meters, equipped with our proven telematics technology. Global economic mobility. That sounds a bit far-fetched at first. What exactly does it mean? Well, it's referring to the dimensions of the crane. We've designed the crane so that it is very transportable, and that means worldwide. On top of that, there's also the weight. The crane weighs 48 tons. It's very light and still has the hook and the double folding jib, and only the counterweight has been removed. The counterweight can then be easily transported to the construction site with an additional transporter, with a truck. OK, I get it now. Simple, well thought out, and economical. What else do we need to know? Yes, we follow the KISS concept here. Keep it simple and safe. We apply that to our other RT cranes as well. Safety. For example, the crane driver benefits from our Vario base, the sliding beam monitoring and the wind speed load charts. But it also has to be simple. The crane is easy to operate for the driver. Great, thanks very much, Julian, for these insights. And with that, we'll say Fiatzeich from Munich. We'll see you again in the next episode.